everyone. I'm going to start by showing you these from the last two videos. I love this one. I love everything, like the lines, the colors. Somebody had asked um, how I start, because I start with all these bright colors, but now, I, I mean, but then I often mute them into pastels. Could I not achieve that by starting with the pastels? And no, not really. I mean, I'd have to add a lot of white to these colors, and then when I did my stuff, they'd end up even more broken down. <clears throat> So I think there'd almost be hardly any color at all at that point. <clears throat> oh my goodness, sorry. And then this is the swipe. And this one stayed quite colorful. Like jewels. And down we go. So I'm going to do a hammer smash today on a 10 by 10 inch canvas. So I'm still using the silicone mat from this. You can go to Facebook, L-O-L-I-V-E-F-E, -L -L -E -E, and it's a silicone mat. They're selling, it's $39, um, and it's pretty awesome. Like I had, I finally let the paint, I haven't been down here in a few days, so I just let the paint dry on it to see how easy it was to peel up. Um, super easy to peel up. Here, there were a couple areas that had like a ton of paint, so that stayed kind of wet, but it had still solidified to the point that I just used um, this and just scraped up the remainder of the paint. So it's nice I haven't had to use any of my butcher paper. So that's really nice. And she is sending me another one to try for um, resining, which I think I will really appreciate using it for resin because the resin sticks to the paper and then anything that was stuck on the painting, to the paper, to the resin, it just all ends up stuck together. All right, so I got Artist Love Green Yellow, Artist Love Turquoise, Soho Deep Purple, oh, Dioxazine Purple, I'm like, I knew that's not right, and uh, Grumbacher Prussian Blue. All mixed with Floetrol and Water. This is my house paint, again, Floetrol and Water. Um, I do not know if there's enough in here for this. We shall see. Since it's the very bottom, I may end up with some dregs. Some chunks. To mix up some more. If you are able to help me out, I would love if you would share um, my videos on your Facebook page or with your friends or Pinterest or however you, whatever medium you use, platform. dog over today. I'm wanting to adopt another dog. So we met a dog today. Very sweet dog. I don't think the right fit. Um, I really, really, really want a golden retriever. Um, my last golden was from a rescue. And there, I've only found one golden retriever for adoption in Nebraska. So if anybody knows of, of a good golden retriever, I have looked, I even looked like having to drive to like Minnesota or something. I mean, I'd prefer not to have to drive, but 
I know there were plenty of dogs here, but I just love Goldens. And I like long hair. Like, I have a Sheltie Husky mix. So I love, like, hair, long hair. Sophie enjoyed having a friend over to play today. Because my youngest is going to school, so, to college, so I need a dog. Um, well, not that my, my son's never even home anyways, but I feel like we need another dog. Sophie would love to have a friend. Oh my god. She played today like full on for like three minutes. Three, meh, yeah, five maybe. And then just like conked out. Oh my god. So the other dog. They're both three years old. They ran and ran and ran and ran and then took her like an hour to regain her breathing. <laughs> Love these colors. if anyone cares. <laughs> I've got so much paint right here. This one. These ones not so much.
This doesn't. This needs. Ugh. I don't want to ruin that. But it does need to be spread out. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Because this doesn't look like a finished piece. Maybe it just needs flingies. to a piece, they definitely do. So I've showed this before, so this is very reminiscent of my early ones. That's a Plingies. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.